Okay, I'm going to say something about, um, don't ask any more Super Chat questions because I've got quite a few. And those of you who asked already, I will get to all of them. So don't worry. I know some of you seem to be anxious for me to answer these questions. I will. Um, but let me just say from a personal perspective, uh, 10 years ago as the CEO of the Ayn Rand Institute, I have to admit, I was very optimistic. I thought there was a lot that could be done. I thought we were having a real impact on the world. Um, I thought the Tea Party, there was a real opportunity there, low probability, but a better opportunity that there had been before. I thought we were filling the void in terms of being the people talking about capitalism properly, talking about the financial crisis not being caused by capitalism. I thought we were filling the void by talking about foreign policy and what should have been done and why 9-11, the response to 9-11 had failed completely. I thought all those things, we were having an impact. And I think to some extent we did. I think to some extent we've grown the movement. There are more people. But everything has gone less than what I thought it would. They're just not as many as I thought they would be. Just not as many people involved, not as many people who care, not as many people who support, not as many people who stand up and willing to fight. Okay. Mark says many people still want to migrate here. Sure, things are much worse elsewhere. That is true. And there is something about America. There's something about America that's going to be really, really, really hard to kill. But they're sure trying. They are trying. And by the way, that something that is America that is really, really hard to kill is to a large extent the thing that many of you hate. It's Silicon Valley. It's technology in Austin, Texas. It's biotech in Boston. It's, 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 uh, it's the innovators on Wall Street. It's the private equity guys that Tucker Carlson hates so much. It's the hedge funds. It's those little parts of America that are engaged in business in value creation, in wealth creation on a massive scale. Those are the great places in America. That is what is still keeping America afloat. Imagine if Silicon Valley shrugged tomorrow, disappeared tomorrow. This country would go into free fall. It's the Dagnies and the Reardons. They might have their own political views, but they are holding you up. They are keeping you afloat. So you can hate Zuckerberg and you can hate Google and you can hate Apple and you can hate big tech all you want, but without them, you'd be dead. It's American business. And much of it big that is keeping this country afloat. It's innovation and production. And the reason, the reason that unemployment is low is because those people work hard to create jobs. Not because of anything Washington, D.C. does. Presidents don't set the economy. They might be able to get out of the way a little bit, but out of the way of what? Out of the way of individuals. Out of the way of individuals building, producing, creating stuff. They're the people you should be thankful for. They're the people you should be encouraging, they're the people you should be supporting, but no, let's break up big business. That's the other thing, the new right. The new right, use antitrust all they want. They love antitrust. Break up everybody. All right, so I was saying. I what we need today, what I call the new intellectual would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the role of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time, so I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to iranbookshow.com. 
slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...